In this overview, we'll show you highlights of calculations, which provide detailed cost and profitability data for strategic, multidimensional management reporting. The transformation of general ledger data into useful management reporting data within the general ledger environment can be a risky process. Allocations in the general ledger obscure the original inputs and provide little in the way of auditability. Mistakes are costly and hard to undo, and access is typically limited to a few key users. Calculation modeling and timing is controlled by end users, and all your calculations are transparent and traceable, providing a safe, accessible sandbox outside your general ledger. Calculations are based on a dimensional model that supports your reporting requirements. After the model is created and seeded with ledger data, the allocation process can take place. In this example, we want to analyze cost and profitability data by entity, account, product, customer, and region. Revenue is already fully attributed, but not costs. We can use allocations to attribute material costs and operating expenses across the customer, product, and region dimensions. A typical allocation process is a complex set of sequences of events. Rule sets let you group rules together in sequence to support and manage a waterfall of allocations, where data allocated later in the sequence is dependent on the results of earlier allocations. The Manage Rules screen is a unique tool that enables you to visualize and organize a complex, multi-step allocation flow in an easy-to-use interface. The system provides two types of calculation rules, allocation rules and custom calculation rules. Allocation rules move data from one or more sources to many targets and include the following types of calculations. Allocations spread data based on an allocation driver. For example, you can allocate rent from the corporate cost center to business function cost centers based on the percentage of square foot occupancy. Restating data shifts data from one location to another. For example, if expenses are captured in the general ledger under one department, but you need them reflected under another, you can simply restate the data in a new location. Reciprocal calculations enable you to allocate data in a circular fashion among locations with reciprocal relationships. For example, HR allocates expenses to IT and finance, IT allocates to HR and finance, and finance allocates to HR and IT. Additionally, all of these admin functions allocate to other groups such as sales, marketing, or shipping that do not allocate costs back to the admin groups. Custom calculation rules enable you to modify or create data in place. For example, you can use custom calculation rules to calculate driver data, create what-if changes, and even create budget or forecast values. The system layers your calculation logic on top of your source data without changing it, making it easy to undo or redo calculation of a single rule, a rule set, or all of your calculations at once an unlimited number of times. Unlike in the general ledger, where reversing calculations requires restoring data back to a point before the calculation took place, here you can simply clear calculated data. This unique layering of input and calculated data is why it's easy to run and reverse rules. Input data is always preserved and never overwritten. Any data generated by a rule is layered on top of the input data, and your final result is the sum of inputs and rule-generated data. This approach makes it easy to individually examine each layer of calculation rule by rule, which provides transparency, credibility, and traceability to your allocations. Calculations are validated in the Rule Balancing screen, where you see each rule and its impact. Clicking the links opens a context-sensitive ad hoc report in SmartView, where you see the exact details of the calculation. In this example, you can see allocation in and allocation out for Rule 2. When I add the entity dimension to the report, you can see the entities involved in the allocation, where data was allocated from, 
and where it was allocated to. Finally, system reports give you a fuller insight into your calculation. The program documentation report documents the logic of each step of the process. And the execution statistics report documents the performance of each step of the process. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of calculations. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.